Hey folks, Jim Thomas here, Fitness Management and Consulting, and I appreciate you being here at the channel today. And for those of you that have not yet done so, please hit that subscribe button. And as always, if you like the content that's presented, please hit that like button as well. And then if also, if you want to be notified of future videos as they come out, you know, be sure to click that notification bell up there in the top of the page. So welcome again to the channel. Appreciate you being here. Our title today it's how to find joint venture marketing partners for your gym. And when you're looking at the growth of your gym, you know, one of the common errors that I see is the focus is simply on you know, dues and membership revenue growth. And certainly in other videos, we've talked about other things you can do internally, but I want to give you one here that can really, you know, help exponentially grow your business. There's no inventory, there's no cost. Um, and generally it's a pretty simple thing to do. It's a matter of continuing to do it. And of course, as always, you know, we have to be sold on this ourselves. So we're going to talk about, you know, finding joint venture marketing partners. And so let's talk a little bit about what that is really. So joint venture marketing partners, you know, one of the old standbys in the fitness business has always been the, you know, the pizza box. Okay. You know, doing a promotion with the pizza company that's nearby. And when they deliver the pizza and what's on nearly every single pizza that we've all received and probably everyone watching this has received a pizza, you know, you have coupons on it. You know, what if your coupon was on every single pizza box delivered in your area? I mean, there's going to be thousands and thousands of these pizzas are delivered. Okay. So that's a great, you know, joint venture, you know, marketing opportunity. You know, what about, uh, you know, working something with someone who, uh, who's with DoorDash and every time DoorDash makes a pickup and, you know, they drop off, you know, a flyer, you know, for your company, you know, think about, you know, the coasters, you know, when you go in, you sit down at a restaurant and they toss that cardboard coaster down and usually it's a, it's a Coors Light or a Bud Light coaster. You know, what if that coaster was good for, you know, three free visits to your gym? Okay. And, you know, those are being provided instead of the, uh, the, 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 the beer uh, coasters. I mean, lots of people, you know, sitting down eating and, you know, drinking an iced tea or something, and they're going to get that, uh, they're going to get that, uh, that coaster. Okay. So there's a lot of great things out there. Also think about advertising opportunities. You know, folks that could, you know, maybe sponsor your free weight room. Okay. Maybe your free weight room is sponsored by a local nutrition company, a local vitamin company, a local sporting goods company. You know, we've got a, a club right now. Their front desk is, I think is actually sponsored by a local dentist. Uh, you know, we have car dealerships that are involved in sponsorship. So there's really no end to this. I mean, the secret to it is, is we need to provide, you know, the, um, you know, the visibility for these companies to want to do it. And, and we have other videos, you can go back and, and search that. We have other videos that talk about, you know, things we need to look for there. What we want to talk about today is how to find these folks. And I want to give you some, some general tips and things that we can do and do them every day on how we can find these folks. Um, you know, number one is, you know, kind of your own network of people. Okay. Just, you know, the people that you talk to on a regular basis, you know, that, that those folks that are close to you, make sure they know what you're looking for. You know, one of the, the big challenges of this is we just don't talk about it sometimes to the most obvious people. I mean, you might have somebody in your gym right now that you talk to on a regular basis and he might run the local car dealership and he might have interest in being a sponsor at some level or doing some kind of joint marketing effort with you, you know, to get more, um, to more views of what he's trying to do. And of course you get that, um, you get the marketing income and the revenue that comes from that. So look at your own network, get in the habit of talking to everybody, but let people know what you're doing. Okay. But this may be the biggest mistake. And I think everyone makes it. I know I've made it at times. I'm talking to somebody and I'm thinking, Oh my, I had no idea. That's what you did. And so it does happen, but you know, stay mindful of it uh, because this can, um, this can generate some big rewards for you. You know, the second thing is people that are mentors of yours. You know, who are your mentors? Who, who's taught you? Who's helped you along the way? You know, a lot of times folks don't go back to those folks. These are folks that they want to help you. You know, they want to see you successful. You know, so go back to, you know, mentors and coaches and teachers and folks that have helped develop you and have helped make you better at what you do. Uh, the second thing or third thing I should say here is your, your current customers and your current members. I mean, I would get out a, 
I'd get out a, uh, an email to my entire member database about here's what we're doing. Okay, now my member database, maybe my former uh, member database, if you have it, and all folks that didn't buy, then I would push that out to everybody. Let them know here's what we're doing. Okay, show them how it benefits them. Make sure we're always showing benefits. How do we solve a problem for them? You know, that style of selling is not going to change, but let them know. Hey, there are now sponsorship opportunities available um, uh, in our advanced training center, our free weight room. There's sponsorship opportunities available for Group X. Um, you know, one of the great things about Group X is not only you know a lot of things you can do, but one of the things that works great is you know on your on your website you have your schedule, and certainly it can be printed, right? You print it out, but you know here's sponsorship on it right there. I mean, that's always been a a good time tested. A piece that's been done in many clubs. You know, your child care is another one, but there's really no shortage of these things. So, you know, market to all your members, market to all your customers, let them know what these opportunities are. And don't, don't really worry about it. I mean, all you need is one good one, you know, two good ones. I mean, the percentage can be 1% uh, of, of a response, but it could be big dollars for you, you know, as a gym owner or as an independent operator. Uh, number four, this is probably where most folks would go first anyway, would be, you know, your social media accounts, you know, using Facebook and, and LinkedIn and, uh, and Instagram and Snapchat and Twitter and a host of others, okay, you know, to market this. But be sure when you're showing these opportunities, you know, that we're letting folks know, hey, here's how we solve problems for you. Make sure you're creating some urgency. I mean, you can't have, in all likelihood, two sponsors of your advanced training center, okay? Although, you guess you could have a gold level bronze if you wanted to take an approach like that. But, you know, mark it out there to social media. Let people know, you know, here's what you're doing. Here's how you're getting this word out. Number five, on my list is, you know, when you go to live events, you know, if you're attending live events, networking events, you know, trade shows, when you're talking to folks, just let people know, hey, here's what we're doing. Okay. You know, here's what we're doing with the local community. Okay. And so you want to promote and promote and promote. And it's like, you know, we talk a lot about in some in membership sales training with sales staff is, is what I'm doing right now going to result in a sale? Kind of take that same approach here. Is what I'm doing right now going to result in some kind of joint venture marketing effort, some joint venture uh, partnership. Okay. And then number six, you know, talking about, you know, how, how I've done this in the past. And one of the great ways to do it is think about your power base. Okay. And when I talk about a power base, I mean, this is going to be, you know, everybody that's in your phone, you know, how many names and numbers do you have in your phone? And typically this is going to be folks that know you, trust you, believe in you, love you, want to see you be successful. These are some great opportunities. And you're not necessarily trying to get them to be a sponsor, although they could, okay? But talk to every one of them. If you don't talk to them, you know, a text message, an email, I mean, get in touch with them at, at some level. Let them know what you're doing. And can they recommend, make a recommendation for you? You know, you're maybe you're looking for a title sponsor. You're looking for a, a, a joint venture partnership with a, a local delivery company that can you know, hand out flyers when they make, you know, local deliveries. You know, let people know. This is one of the very first places that I will go is go into that power base. And, um, and people that already know me know what's happening. And again, don't, di don't get discouraged if the numbers are low. The percentages could be low. I mean, you think about, just think about direct mail marketing for a moment, or even Facebook for that matter. I mean, this stuff goes out to tens and twenties and hundreds of thousands of people. And you, may, you, you get a small percentage of that. That's all you need. It's the same thing here. So don't, don't think you're going to get overrun with it. But work this every single day okay, to grow additional revenues. And I guess I would finish with, with uh, the, the final thought on this. I mean, uh, you know, we're based here in Dallas, Texas, of course, the home of the Dallas Cowboys. And, you know, one of the great things that they have done, and certainly other, you know, NFL franchises as well, is the whole marketing effort. I mean, they have title sponsors on practice facilities, title sponsors on the, on the, uh, on the, the game day stadiums, and title sponsors for practice fields, you know, sponsors, who's the official phone company, who's the official hamburger of these companies. And as long as you can show these organizations how you can benefit them, how are you giving more visibility for them? 
and sit down and look at all the ways and there's a lot you can do okay these folks are going to want to participate with you and you know you don't have to break the bank on it just you know get some revenue coming in you have no overhead you have no cost on it right? take a look at it i think this is a way that a lot of folks can start generating some additional revenue uh, inside the facility so folks my name is jim thomas my company is fitness management and consulting as always i appreciate you being here at the channel today uh, if you like the information that's provided please consider you know hitting that like button below we appreciate it and if you want to be notified of future videos be sure to hit that notification button up top uh, look forward to seeing you guys on the next video thanks